So, it's come to my understanding that Mr. Feige has uh, discussed the topic of superhero fatigue and whether people really have it or not. And before we jump on it, I'm going to tell you what it is. I don't believe that people have superhero fatigue, just like they don't have fatigue of every other genre of movie. As long as you're putting out great entertainment, people aren't going to get tired of it. The problem is they're tired of the direction that Marvel has been going they doing everything they've been doing politically. They can't stand it as a whole. That's what they're getting tired of. To the point where, y'all know me, I make sure I go and I see every Marvel movie in 4DX. I want the complete experience. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, is the first Marvel movie to where I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go see it regular. That's how concerned I am for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I'm just like, is it going to even be worth it? Is it going to be worth it? So, let me see what Mr. Feige has to say. So it's here. Uh, will movie go goers ever get superhero fatigue? Marvel boss Kevin Feige doesn't buy it. Saying on a new podcast interview that there are 80 years of groundbreaking stories told in the Marvel comics that... They can adapt into different genres. I've been at Marvel Studios for over 22 years, and most of us here at Marvel Studios have been around a decade or longer together, Feige said, on the Movie Business Podcast, hosted by Jason E. Squire, an author and professor at the USC School of Cinematic Arts. From probably my second year at Marvel, uh, people were asking, well, how long is this going to last? Is this a fad of comic book movies? Will it end? Says so Feige continued, I didn't really understand that question because to me, it was akin to saying after Gone with the Wind, how many more movies can be made off of novels? Do you think the audience will sour on movies being made from books? No, I don't. I think that people would sour on movies that are bad adaptions of books. You would never ask that because there's an inherent understanding amongst most people that a book can be anything. A novel can have any type of story whatsoever, so it depends on what story you're translating. Non-comic book readers don't understand that it's the same thing in the comics. Referencing the rich catalog of Marvel Comics, which date back to 1939. Feige said there are countless stories for the studio to adapt in various genres. That's true. There's 80 years of the most interesting, emotional, groundbreaking stories that have ever been told in Marvel Comics. And it is our great privilege to be able to take that we have and take what we have and adapt them, he said. Another way to do that is adapting them into different genres and what types of movies we want to make. If I can conclude it, I found that if we tell the story right, there it is. He knows. If we tell the story right and we adapt them in a way that the audience still, knock on wood so far, is following along, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Knock on wood, my ass. People are getting... Anyway, is following us along 22 years plus years later. We can make any type of movies that share two things. The Marvel Studios logo above and the title and seed of an idea from our publishing history. That's funny. It says, listen to the whole podcast here. So... I definitely, let me see, it's on Spotify. Cool. I'm going to have to go check it out. <laughs> I'm going to go check out the whole podcast. So he's, Feige ain't a stupid dude. He knows, he knows exactly what he's doing. I'm sure he got people that tell him what to do and tell him how the movies are going to be made and tell him the direction that they're going in. And I'm sure... I, like, I, I really don't think the guy wanted what has happened to happen. I, I just don't. I, I feel like it was other people that wanted it to go that way. 
and he was just saying what he had to say to keep his job, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but I just don't, I, I don't think that, because he's, he was doing well for a while until they decided to take that swerve. <sighs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think of this situation. Are people getting superhero fatigue or not? I know I'm not. I'm just getting fatigue of all the politics and crazy crap that they've been putting in the movies. 10 million subscribers. Whoa.